Hey Scrapper, Smooth here. So in this video I'm going to show you how to recover the gold from pleated boards like cell phone boards, um, gold that might be on RAM chips, and you know various other things, PDAs, that kind of stuff. There's gold plated boards on all kinds of things, those, those, um, those long strips that you see in the, the flat screen TVs. Um, yeah, just about anything. It's pretty easy. Uh, we're just going to use the same um, air bubbler system that we used for the trimmed fingers and we'll go from there. So I'm going to take you to my garage where I have a bucket that's already been going that has um, one gallon of hydrochloric acid. I'm using the uh, safer muriatic acid. It's about 21 per, or 20 percent HCl and air, that's it, no peroxide added, no other chemicals added, just the HCL and air bubblers and the gold bearing material. Now it's also gonna have you know, a little bit of solder and stuff like that on it. I like to process that stuff separate from everything else just in case something horrible happens. So, there you go, let's head up to the garage. All right, so this is the um, end of the soaking gold plated boards in the AP video. Uh, so I'm gonna show you um, how I process those. Uh, so started off where a couple of weeks ago actually put the boards in a bucket of old AP. Um, I was going to put the air bubbler up to it but unfortunately forgot. <laughs> but a couple of weeks later it did just fine anyway. So let's take a look at the uh, first step in filtering out all the solids. Alright so I've got a clean five gallon bucket and this is uh, an old lid to a popcorn popper. It's got the holes in the bottom Make sure it's completely free of oil, so you don't want any oils in there whatsoever. Take as much of that loose gold off as I can. So there's still a lot of board, still a lot of gold left on the board, which is fine. Um, I didn't hook up the air bubbler, so I'm not complaining too much. So I'm gonna put these aside for now. Now, what I'm going to do, this is not the most you know, efficient process, but whatever, it works for me, so... I'm going to pour all of this back into this bucket. It's all going 
the boards are going back in, so I'm not going to fuss too much about getting all the glue out. <coughs> what I'm going to do now is I have a lid that I made a hole in the top. Set that right on top. Get a big funnel. And some filter paper. And now we start the long process of filtering out all the solution. So this part's going to take a while, so I'm going to stop filming and come back as soon as I've filtered out all the solution. Alright, so this is what uh, was left after filtering out that bucket of, of plated boards. And if you can see, it was just the boards that, that fit in that bucket right there. So it wasn't a whole heck of a lot of boards. Uh, it was a mix of like cell phone boards and all kinds of other stuff, you know, I pointed out at the beginning of the video. Uh, so you've got this gold filtering out here. and and all of that there. Which, you know, when all's said and done, it'll probably be a couple grams. So that's it. Alright, so that's it for the, um, the video on gold recovery from plated boards. Um, a lot of, I get a lot of people asking, can you just use AP like you do with the gold trim fingers? And the answer is yes. Um, I like to use AP that I've already used before because you know, sometimes you'll find some solids at the bottom uh, and other things that get mixed in there that can you know, come out in the, um, in the foils, make it easier or make it more difficult to, to filter them out. But generally I don't have too much of a problem as long as the boards are clean going in, there's no components left on them. Um, that's it. So once this gold is done filtering, I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to uh, throw it in my bottle of auric chloride here, dissolve it. And at some point in the future, when I feel there's a, a good bit in there, I'll precipitate it out. That's a mistake that a lot of people make. They try and precipitate it out, you know, right away. When just this much, which is, I don't know, maybe 400 milliliters, this can hold a couple ounces of gold at least. So you want to have patience. Make sure you, you hold off on the precipitating because if you do it too quickly, you're probably not going to see hardly anything. And you're going to think that there's no gold in there when there actually is, it's just not enough to really you know, give you the, the classic reaction of turning brown and, and dropping out to the bottom. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. See you on the next one.